Hello, and welcome back to another screencast on Maple 15. At the end of the last screencast, we met a built-in Maple function, the exp function, which is really the function e to the x. To use this function, we just typed exp, open parenthesis, then the input we want, then close parenthesis, and hit enter. In this screencast, we're going to quickly see some other mathematical functions that Maple has, and see how to go about finding some of the less common ones. To take a square root, for example, we use the function sqrt. For example, here's the square root of 2. We type sqrt, open parentheses, 2, then close parentheses, and hit enter. To get an approximation for this quantity, remember to enclose the thing you want to approximate in eval f and hit enter. To find the natural logarithm, we use ln. Here's the natural logarithm of 7, for instance. Type ln, open parenthesis, 7, close parenthesis, and hit enter. And here's the natural logarithm of e to the fifth, which is of course 5, but notice that Maple does the simplification automatically. To find a log to the base 10, use log 10. For example, log base 10 of 0 0.01 is negative 2. Trig functions work similarly and use the syntax you'd expect. For example, to find the sine of pi over 4, type sin, open parenthesis, capital P, lowercase i, slash to create the fraction, 4, then navigate out of the denominator using the right arrow key, and then close parentheses and hit enter. Notice that Maple gives you the exact value of the sine. You can use the other five basic trig functions the same way, using the usual math abbreviations for cosine, tangent, and so on. For inverse trig functions, we use the arc notation rather than a negative one exponent. For example, to find the inverse cosine of one half, type arccos, open parentheses, one slash two, navigate out of the denominator with the right arrow key, and then close parentheses and hit enter. Maple has many more mathematical functions built into the system. If you have one in mind that you'd like to use, or if you want help on a function that you're trying to use, go to the cursor and type a question mark followed by the thing you want help on. For example, if I wanted to find the function for hyperbolic sine, it's usually abbreviated SINH, I could type question mark SINH and hit enter, and it would bring up a help screen. I could also bring up this help screen by entering a single word search term. For example, to learn more about logarithms, type question mark logarithm. Another way to get help or browse features is to go to the help menu, select Maple Help, and then enter in the search term you want. You can find help on any of Maple's features this way. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.